Can you believe it? This 1964 Kennedy half dollar recently fetched an astounding $57,600 at Heritage Auctions. So, what makes this coin worth so much more than its face value? The key factor is its exceptional condition. Typically the finest 1964 Philadelphia Kennedy half dollars are graded MS67. However, this coin stands out as the only one certified at MS68 by NGC. The NGC census shows a single MS68 coin, but without the star designation. It's unclear if this represents the current coin, or if another example in this grade has yet to be added to the NGC census. This piece boasts a sharp central strike, full brilliance, and outstanding overall preservation. The fields are distinctly semi-reflective, a result of dye-polishing striations across each side. It's a truly eye-catching example that sold for a remarkable sum. This neatly struck 1974 Jefferson Nickel, with well-defined steps, earned the prestigious Full Steps designation from PCGS, presenting this gem in uncirculated MS-66 condition. While 1,974 P. Jefferson nickels are quite common up to MS-65, finding one in MS-66 is much scarcer, but still possible with diligent searching and can be purchased relatively inexpensively. However, an MS-66 with the full steps designation is a true rarity, as most of these have been snatched up by collectors over the years. This particular specimen fetched $504 at Heritage Auctions. Do you notice something odd about this 1953 Washington quarter? This circulated quarter dollar is an elusive error coin, known as a uniface reverse and partial collar error. Graded AU58 by PCGS, this coin has a fascinating story. Two quarter planches were fed between the quarter dies, one stacked on top of the other. The present coin was struck between the obverse die and the other planche, preventing it from coming into contact with the reverse die. Additionally, the collar die deployed only partially, resulting in an obverse rim that is narrow and shallow near 1030, and wide and raised near 430. Lightly to moderately toned golden brown, this unique error coin sold for $2,040. If you own a 1971 proof Lincoln cent, it's high time to grab a magnifying glass and examine the obverse side for a potential big bonus. A particular specimen in PR68 red condition recently sold for $1,080, and we're talking about the highly coveted double die obverse variety. According to Variety Vista, as reported by John A. Wexler, there's a strong spread visible on Liberty. In God We Trust, and the date. Another indicator is a repunched mint mark, with minor doubling towards the north. So, pay close attention to your pennies, whether they are business strikes or proofs, and familiarize yourself with the most popular varieties to avoid being ripped off by unscrupulous coin dealers if you have a valuable error coin. What an outstanding gem! This vividly toned 1932 Washington quarter recently sold for over $10,000 at Heritage Auctions. Graded MS67 Plus by PCGS, this first-year issue from the Philadelphia Mint is a perfect candidate for both type and date collections. This particular example is tied for the finest known, making it an exceptional rarity. PCGS reports only one other superb gem in this grade with a plus designation. Frosty and Pristine, this 1932 Washington quarter exhibits a sharp strike across its entirety. Free of any bothersome abrasions, the obverse showcases a captivating blend of blue-green, rose-lavender, and sunset gold toning, while the reverse remains predominantly brilliant. It fetched an impressive $10,800. This undated error Eisenhower dollar recently fetched $10,800 at Heritage Auctions. This coin is a double-struck Eisenhower dollar, with both strikes off-center. The first strike was approximately 50% off-center toward 7 o'clock, and the second strike was approximately 40% off-center toward 7 o'clock, positioned at 2 o'clock relative to the first strike. No date or mint mark is present, but Type 3 proofs were struck at San Francisco in 1973, 1974, 1977, and 1978. Most of Ike's portrait from the second strike is bold, and his face is clear from the first strike. The second strike shows Earth and most of the eagle, while the eagle's left, facing wing remains from the first strike. This fascinating error coin showcases the complexity and rarity that collectors covet.
leading to its impressive sale price of $10,800. This is a spectacular error. An 1898 $5 coin was used as a planche and then overstruck with proof 1970 s quarter dies. Parts of the 1898 half eagle are faintly visible on both sides, with the date, 1898, seen below the wreath on the reverse. Proof planchets are hand-fed into the press prior to striking, and each proof coin is supposedly individually examined before shipment. It is rare to find any proof coin with even a minor error, such as being off-center, double-struck, a broad strike, or an off-metal strike. Naturally, such proof coin errors are eagerly sought by collectors. What makes this coin physically possible to produce is the relative closeness and diameter of each denomination. Quarters are 24.3 mm in diameter, while half-eagles are 21.6 mm. This means the struck half-eagle coin is not quite large enough to be a perfect fit as a planche. However, it is close, and the result is what we see on this piece, an incomplete definition around the borders. The struck half-eagle did not have enough metal to fully fill the quarter dies, resulting in a lack of details on the struck quarter. This unique error coin sold for an impressive $93,000. Numismatists of the time shook their heads at the astonishing number of cents produced during 1918, with yet another new record set at the Philadelphia Mint. What they failed to notice until two or three years later is that Brenner's initials VDB were restored to his cent with this issue, though its new placement was nearly hidden on the truncation of Lincoln's bust. The death of chief engraver Charles Barber the year before removed the last objection to their appearance. Common in all circulated grades, 1918 P cents are likewise readily available in all but the highest mint state grades. This virtually flawless example really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Silky smooth surfaces exhibit vivid mint color of beautiful rose red. The striking detail is razor sharp to full throughout the design, and the eye appeal is extraordinary. Graded in mint state 68 red by PCGS, it ended up selling for $31,200. Thanks for joining us on this exciting journey through the world of rare U.S. coins recently sold at auctions. From the vividly toned 1932 Washington Quarter, to the spectacular overstruck 1970 s quarter on an 1898 Half Eagle. These incredible finds remind us why numismatics is such a fascinating hobby. Each of these coins tells a unique story, showcasing the artistry, history, and sometimes, the sheer serendipity that makes coin collecting so thrilling. Whether it's an error coin that defies the odds, or a perfectly preserved gem that has stood the test of time, the allure of these rare pieces continues to captivate collectors and enthusiasts alike. As you've seen, the auction prices for these rare coins can reach astonishing heights, reflecting their rarity and desirability. It's a testament to the ongoing passion and dedication within the numismatic community. These coins not only hold significant monetary value, but also offer a glimpse into the past, preserving moments in history that we can hold in our hands. For those new to coin collecting or seasoned veterans, it's essential to stay informed and vigilant. Always examine your coins carefully, and don't hesitate to seek expert opinions when needed. You never know when you might come across a hidden gem in your collection that could be worth a small fortune. Remember, whether you're on the lookout for error coins, key dates, or simply beautiful examples of numismatic art, the thrill of the hunt is part of the journey. Keep exploring, learning, and sharing your discoveries with fellow enthusiasts. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below with your thoughts or questions. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content about rare and valuable coins. Happy collecting, and we'll see you in the next video.